3.6 seconds. That's how insanely fast you can download an entire 2 hour long movie using 5G. This would have taken 6 minutes with 4G and 26 hours with 3G. Not just that, while 4G responds to commands in around 50 milliseconds, 5G does so in about just 1 millisecond, 400 times faster than blinking your eye. And on top of this, 5G has the capacity to connect to 100 times more devices than 4G. Now, all of this seems amazing, but you must be wondering when can you get 5G? Well, if you're in India, the answer is not very soon. And to understand why, we have to understand how 5G really works. 5G is the fifth generation of cellular network, similar to 1G, 2G, 3G and 4G. These work on electromagnetic waves. Basically, you don't need wires for communication. Transfer of data happens through these invisible waves. Now, these waves have frequencies. In 5G, these frequencies are basically divided into two parts, sub-6 and millimeter waves. In the lower end are the sub-6 frequencies. These are similar to the frequencies that are already being used in our TVs, Wi-Fis and current 4G devices. And in the higher end are the millimeter wave frequencies. These are the ones that will allow 5G to be more powerful than the networks we already have. Let's use an example to understand this. Imagine that there are two pipes. The first pipe is thin and long. This can carry water to long distances but at a slower speed. This thin pipe is how sub-6 frequencies in 5G work. They don't give you amazing speeds but can work far from the network towers. And on the other hand is a thick but short pipe. This cannot carry water to a long distance but the volume of water is a lot. This thick pipe basically shows how millimeter waves in 5G work. They give you crazy speeds but to get this amazing speed you have to be closer to the network tower. These millimeter waves make 5G really powerful because they offer so much speed you can browse videos videos faster, experience better quality video calls and enjoy lag-free gaming. Not just at your home, but also in crowded spaces. In fact, the future applications of 5G are said to be massive. It will be used to increase the efficiency of self-driving cars, to conduct remote surgeries and to revolutionize realistic gaming. As more and more gadgets in our houses become smart devices, 5G will help them to communicate with each other better. It can also make public transport more efficient by allowing real-time transfer of data about location and traffic. But all of this has one problem. The challenge with 5G is coverage. Our thick pipes or the millimeter waves carry more information but cannot travel long distances. In fact, these higher frequency waves are easily blocked by trees, walls, buildings and even rain. Because of this, more towers are needed. One estimate even suggests that US alone will need 1 million new towers. Setting up so many high frequency towers is definitely not an easy task. So the other option is to go for the lower frequency bands. Yup, the sub-6 ones that resemble the thin pipe. These offer greater coverage and can spread across longer distances. But because they don't offer a lot of speed, they end up being not much faster than the 4G we are already using. All of this tells us that getting crazy speeds will not be very easy, at least in the near future, especially for India. In India, if a company wants to operate at a particular frequency, it has to buy the band for it from the government. And for this purchase, the government has an auction. So if Jio wants to operate at a particular frequency, it will have to buy the band for that frequency from the government. Till today, the government has not been able to auction any 5G bands. Most likely, this auction will take place in the first few months of 2022. This means that the commercial rollout of 5G in India will not be possible before late 2022 or early 2023. In fact, till today, India doesn't have even a single phone that supports millimeter wave 5G. Here are some of the popular 5G phones in India. As you can see, it is iPhone 12 that supports the maximum 5G bands. But even this doesn't include the millimeter wave bands. In May 2021, the Indian government allowed Airtel, Reliance, Vodafone Idea and MTNL to start trials of 5G technology. But these trials will go on for six months. This will include a two-month period for getting and setting up the equipment. In fact, when Airtel did a 5G test in Hyderabad, it used the 1800 MHz band, which is not a part of the millimeter wave, but of sub-6 that works like the thin pipe. So even if I stand at the Hyderabad testing center, I will not really get the crazy
crazy speeds that we have associated with 5G. But there are some countries that have begun rolling out 5G, like South Korea, China, UK, US, and Germany. Like any new technology, 5G also comes with its own excitement and skepticism. Radiation will increase exponentially. Coronavirus to 5G. Lowers your immunity and runs people down. 5G is a weapon. Hi guys, do you know what you're doing now? You're laying 5G. So you hear that kills people. For example, some thought that 5G causes coronavirus. We've seen similar skepticism before as well. Like this cartoon that made fun of vaccines. Or this one that made fun of electricity. And today, we cannot even imagine our lives without vaccines or electricity. In fact, when mobile phones were first produced, people were worried they might cause cancer. But after many scientific studies, the general conclusion is that there is no hard evidence to support that theory. Same is the case with 5G. In fact, some researchers even believe that 5G's shorter wavelength is less dangerous than the devices we are currently using. But it's safe to say that there are plenty of years left before we really see 5G in full effect. And who knows what all exciting tech will emerge by then. If you are a tech nerd like Nutshell, then let us know in the comments what other topics we should cover. And yes, don't forget to show us your love by liking and sharing this video.